Good morning, people. This morning we're talking about something quite important. It's only a very small part of an engine build, but it's one that used to trip me up time and time again. And it's bolts holding on the exhaust manifold. So when I, used to, when I first started building these cars quite a lot, I used to find that with the extreme heat of the extra power we were putting through these engines, these manifold bolts were regularly coming loose and it was quite a problem. Um, and when I say bolts, we tried the original studs uh, and copper coated nuts that you get from Mercedes, they used to come loose. Um, we moved on to bolts, they came loose. We tried some spring washers, they came loose. Until eventually, I came across this particular option, which I'm gonna show you right now. So, these are a, a ramped locking washer. They're a, a two-piece construction they have serrated sides and they have ramps in between and the, the two of them are held together with a kind of a sticky, a kind of like a sticky solution. Hang on, let me see if I can just pull that apart for you. Look, see the stickiness? They're held together with like a sticky solution and you can see the ramps in there. So they don't fall apart while you're trying to install them. So what happens is, these are the bolts I actually eventually settled on. Um, Studs, yes, are great, but they're fiddly, they're a pain, they take ages to install, and there are no benefits, in my opinion, to hold a manifold on. Um, it's not a strength issue, it's just, you know, we're just wanting to hold that manifold on in a, in a fairly easy to remove and install method, and this works great. So, basically, one serrated side uh, contacts the head of the bolt, and one serrated side contacts the manifold and then as those two uh, items as you're installing it you turn it clockwise it runs over the ramps and it causes no friction when you try and reverse the bolt it actually runs I might be able to do it with my hands but when you try and reverse the bolt it actually goes like this and as you can see it runs those two ramps up against each other and it increases that dis distance which basically pulls really tight on the threads and jams that bolt. And it is fantastic. They never ever come loose. It is such a good solution. And the best thing is, you can even use some copper slip um, just to stop these threads galling and to stop them seizing over time, which normally you'd be quite wary of using uh, any kind of like anti-seize compound when you have a problem with bolts coming loose anyway. But with this solution, it's the best of both worlds. Use your anti-seize compound, put that in, and it all works quite nicely together. It's a really fantastic system. Um, I might even show you, if you have a look at this, we'll try it on this one here, look. So these are tight. I'll try and do it, and you should be able to see the two ramping against each other. You ready? Yeah, well, it just tried and then it stopped. But basically what was happening was it was pushing against it and it's really hard, really hard just to get that bolt started. But then once you got it started, it, it goes free. So there you go. That is my solution to keeping the bolts in your crate engines tight. And you can use the same method. Um, I'll put this as a little kit on the shop. The bolts, as we all know, they're quite inexpensive. The washers, quite expensive, but well worth it. And you can reuse them, they're reusable. Um, stainless ones are available, but I always use the zinc coated ones for good results. Anyway, enjoy.